Well guys, it finally happened. I'm having CarPlay issues, and in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys about the CarPlay issues, but more importantly, address the CarPlay issues by installing a brand new part for the car that's going into the interior of the car. I actually left the box in the car now that I'm standing here and filming this, so we're gonna jump in the car, take a look at it, but essentially what was happening is my CarPlay was constantly disconnecting. I basically, through some trial and error, figured out it was because, for some reason, with the phone being hardwired into the CarPlay, that might have been the issue, or that seems to have been the issue with other people, and they've solved it by doing a Bluetooth wireless CarPlay adapter. So in today's video, we are installing a Bluetooth wireless CarPlay adapter, but let's get into the car and take a look at it. We have a CarPlay adapter, a wireless CarPlay adapter. Um, I actually went with a company that I've never bought any products from. I've heard, well, I won't say anything about the company name, but we bought, we're bought. we trying out a new product from a new company today. It's a pretty standard AliExpress type product. So essentially what was happening is I have a base model. I will show you guys in a second. It's dusty. This is a real video. I actually didn't prep for this because I really need this installed because I'm driving on a trip just shortly. So this is kind of a very much a need. I'm glad it came in as quickly as it did. But essentially when I wire my iPhone, my iPhone uh, into this car after a while, sometimes after 30 seconds, sometimes not at all, it just doesn't connect. It will not work. And for a long time, I thought it was the cord. I thought it was my phone. Turns out just something about the corded connection to the phone, there were some issues. It might still be the phone. It might still be the cord. Honestly, I really don't know. But in today's video, we are going to solve that and get this new thing installed. So let's unbox it. So I went with the uh, Noble kit uh, just because it was on sale and a few other people had run it, but they're pretty much standard if you buy them anywhere else. But instruction manual, it's pretty simple. You just connect to the Bluetooth that this thing pops out. It's fairly small. To give you perspective on hand size, it's fairly small. Um, Obviously, you just have your USB-C on this end and that gets plugged in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little guy, plug him in, and I'm gonna put some 3M tape on the side and we're gonna put them underneath the uh, space, but I'll show you in a second. Just wanna do like a full unboxing here. Um, I know it's a bad angle, but it's funny. Now that I've been in the VBWX for a little while, it's hard to film in here. You know, there's not a lot of room, especially when you don't have a super, uh, well, I could go on forever, a, a different type of lens. Comes with two different types of connection cords, USB-C to USB-C and a USB-C to USB-A, which is what we're gonna use here to get us plugged in. And it's nice and short, thank goodness, because these things, if they were long, would be an absolute pain in the butt. But we're gonna get this set up before I actually adhere it, just to make sure it works, because the last thing I wanna do is put 3M tape on the car um, before doing anything else, and I am doing 3M tape, which I think I have on me. Let me just verify. I have the 3M tape, but I didn't bring scissors, which is a downside. But the reason I'm doing 3M tape and not a double adhesive Velcro is because this stuff, you buy proper 3M tape here. Uh, it's actually easier to remove than some of the other products that are adhered to Velcro and stuff like that. I've just found this stuff is stickier. The thickness of the like actual adhesive for the tape is thicker counterintuitively it holds hard it holds longer but it's actually easier to get up i've removed enough of this stuff that this is the way that i'd go but let's turn the camera around and get this thing set up and just figure out what we're doing here please don't judge me i cleaned this just the other day i that's my one the one thing that bothers me is this stuff like especially in the sun we got the sun full bore right now obviously i've turned the iso and the camera down fingerprints and dust it's literally the worst but let's get the car started so you guys don't have to look at that anymore and we're gonna try to do this all with one hand. Before I even start the car, do you guys wanna hear it? You guys probably wanna hear it. I'll open the door so you guys can hear it because it's gonna be loud. Hopefully my neighbors don't kill me. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. I'm gonna close the door pretty loud at the get-go for the cold start and I just have the remark axle back but what we're gonna do here is we are going to plug in this guy here and then this little dude gets plugged in let's see if I can do it with one hand I am struggling to do it with one hand but I will we will this this will get done here we go for some reason there was some resistance there. And we're plugged in. 
interesting. I don't exactly know how this is going to work, but oh, enable Apple CarPlay, don't show again. Yes. Cool. I wonder if we have to set anything up. Use iPhone Bluetooth to connect to CarPlay box. Okay. We're going to jump over to the Bluetooth sections of our phones and uh, probably going to blur this out for you guys. We're going to connect to this guy. We're going to set up the code. All right. So we should be running here. We should be having absolutely no issues here. Get up ways. So we're all up and running on CarPlay. So now the big test here. So we're going to shut the car off and we're going to open the door. What this is doing is completely shutting off our system, right? You can see my fingerprints again. Then we are going to start the car again. And now the question is how quickly will it boot up? We're going to hit agree. Let's see what happens here. This is the moment of truth. Do I have to do anything on my phone? I don't think I have to do anything on my phone. And then I probably have to press CarPlay. Bang, we're there. That was really quick, actually. I'm super impressed. That was extremely quick. That was, like, shockingly quick. I was expecting it to be much longer than that. All right, well, let's get this thing adhered. All right, we're going to leave the car on because it is cold as can be. Um, I wonder if I can tear the 3M tape. Is that stupid? Well, I, tear, I tore it anyways because I'm lazy. Um, so we're going to take our torn 3M tape. It's torn, just a little piece. And we are going to adhere it. I'm going to adhere it before you guys can actually see it onto the back of this guy. I'm not using a big piece. I'm just using enough to make it sticky. Surprisingly enough, actually, this, this uh, little device is very not receptive to the adhesion. And then let's flip the camera around. Don't worry, guys. I will turn up the brightness so you guys can see all, oh wow, it really accentuates the little bit of dust and stuff. 3M tape is installed. I know it looks sloppy, but you know, again, we're just, we're looking to hide this thing. Um, we're going to see some of the cord anyways, so I'm not that concerned. But what I'm doing here, but what I'm doing here, the goal is to adhere this just so the device is kind of out of the way. So we're going to go up like that and tuck it like, ooh, there's actually, there's a piece of, uh, we're gonna flip it this way. So you wanna flip it that way. And we're going up and we're just gonna push up for a second and hold and that's it. Now, there is a little bit of cord and I know that you guys are gonna lose your mind. I could tuck the cord like this, but this amount of cord doesn't really bother me, honestly. Um, you would see it anyways if you had something plugged in. Actually, what I might do is I might rubber band it. Uh, just like rubber band it like that. Um, it's a good question, but it's not too bad. It's pretty hidden there, obviously. Um, you would barely know anything is there. It's better than having your phone connected. And um, it hooks up to the Bluetooth really quickly. Obviously, we're already hooked up. So um, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's see how it runs for a couple months. Um, I'm hoping that this is a product that kind of just does what it needs to do and is very functional. This is a very functional modification for the car. I wouldn't even call it a mod, maybe a fix for something that was going wrong. A lot of you guys are gonna ask, why didn't I take it to Subaru to have it solved? So many of us are having problems with this that I was just like, whatever, I'm just gonna fix it. I think I spent like $70 on this, uh, maybe 80 shipped or something. So for me, it was worth it. And I don't like wiring my phone anyways. Um, kind of bummed that they didn't have Bluetooth CarPlay anyways for this car. So this is just something I wanted to fix. And then it also allows it, it makes it easier for other people to kind of like, if I'm driving with other people in the car, hook up to the Bluetooth rather, rather easily because they just have to join the Bluetooth. So I think it solves all those problems and um, we'll see how it holds up. I know this is probably not the video you were expecting this week, but it's a video that I had to make because it's something that I had to do for the car and it solves the problem that maybe some of you guys are facing, or it just adds some convenience on a product that's out there. But uh, we are going to be bringing, I'm going to, or we, I'm going to be bringing this car into my garage uh, tomorrow afternoon, and I'm going to spend the entire weekend basically filming uh, mod content. We're also going to be filming a few videos about like 
some of the engineering aspects around like direct injection, like what type of oil you should be using and all that kind of stuff. So I've got some really interesting content coming to this channel just because there's been like a little bit of a lull. Like we've been doing a lot of like little product things, but like obviously I haven't like built the car yet. Um, I'm trying to get through all the little product stuff. So we're going to spend, I'm going to be actually tinting the windows. This window, surprisingly enough, just because of the camera and the brightness, this window is actually already tinted. It's got a 30% on it, actually 35%. Um, I'll be tinting the rest of the windows. So I'll show you guys how to do that because it's super easy to do on your own. And you, you know, you can tint your windows for like $40. So totally worth doing on your own. I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. But I'm also doing a bunch of interior stuff. Like one thing that I wanted to do was just like in one swoop, do a lot of like carbon fiber stuff on the interior. So I'm gonna be doing all of that this weekend. Um, uh, I've got a few exterior pieces that kind of pair with the tent. Um, and then we're actually gonna be installing some new, uh, a new front lip, a new duck bill, um, and then like a piece of like arrow on the rear window, like uh, below the vortex generator that I've always wanted to run in a Subaru, but I've always felt that they were weird with the vortex generator, but I just decided you only live once, let's just do it um, and see if I like it or not. So I'm gonna run that for a little while. Um, otherwise, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know. Uh, let me know if you've had this problem and if uh, let me know in the comment section below if that's something you're dealing with. And if you're running a Bluetooth wireless CarPlay kit, uh, let me know what your experience is like because this is obviously my first one. I've heard good reviews, but obviously I wanna know what you guys think. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep an eye out for it. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.